Thanks for watching this video, Hokkaido Sustainability Matters. This is a new credit category, water efficiency. I suggest you to allocate numbers nearby every prerequisite and credit. The first prerequisite, outdoor water use reduction. It connects to credit one. They share the same name. You may refer to page 287, lead V4 reference guide. And I also suggest you write down the WEC1, page 287, nearby the title of this prerequisite. It only calculates the vegetated area exclude the permeable and impermeable pavements. For those vegetated athletic fields and playgrounds, food gardens, urban agricultural areas, they may be included or excluded based on the project team's discretion. If your project does not have landscape, then it is exempt from this prerequisite. That means you could still apply to this. There are two options. First option is no irrigation required. Not require a permanent irrigation system within two years of established periods. But you must describe your planning and uh, explain why they will not need irrigation. The best method is to show the average rainfall in your size area. This also guarantee you could achieve WEC1 option one on page 287. Let me explain this a little bit more because I notice some people, they get confused of this. This means where you set up your landscape, you plant some plantings, trees, flowers, and you also set up irrigation to help them grow up. But this prerequisite Option one requires you to move these irrigation systems no later than two years of establishment. Option two is to reduce 30 percentage of LWR, landscape water requirement. From calculated baseline, of the peak watering months, normally is July, normally. The LOWR landscape water requirement was mainly affected by three factors. Plant types, planting density, irrigation system elements. Therefore, three strategies plant species selection, mutual distance among them, irrigation efficiency, and you must adopt the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency's Water Sense Water Budget Tool. This is a website-based tool. It's an Excel. <laughs> it requests you to input the zip code to generate the rainfall and evapotranspiration data. This website also provides start guide to help you. It contains 30 year historical climate data. You must calculate both the baseline situation and your project. 
then I suggest you read some definition on page 265 and 266 of Lead B4 Reference Guide. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.